going to hear from Michael Nicholas. He's speaking from Pathways on the completing his Introduction to Toastmasters Mentoring Project. And the title of his speech is My Mentoring Experience. Michael. Fellow Toastmasters and guests. Toastmasters encourages us members to be part of the mentorship program. The mentorship program allows us to learn from each other in our um, in our in our striving to become better better speakers. So what I will be sharing with you would be my mentorship experience. I'll be sharing my the benefits of mentorship that I experienced and also listing out uh, experiences where I think mentorship would have been more valuable. And then I will wrap up by talking about mentorship versus coaching and also the globalization of mentorship. So a long time ago, when I was first starting uh, in my career, I was assigned a supervisor in, in my work in the finance industry. And this person was assigned to you to help you grow in your role. So I was, I was an analyst, and I didn't know what I was doing. Essentially, this, this person was there to guide me and to assist me as I, as I grew and learned um, different things in the department. So what were the benefits? First, I was, it was easier for me to reach my goals. So goals were lined up. My mentor would talk to me about, you know, these are the goals for the month. I'll give you feedback. These are goals for the quarter. These are goals for the year. Secondly, it was easy for me to learn and develop in my role. I was more relaxed and open to learning. That helped a lot. Third, I had better camaraderie with, with people in the group. Having a mentor allows you to develop relationships with other people in the group. Uh, introductions were made, certain connections were made with not just our group, but different groups in the team. Lastly, work was more enjoyable having a mentor. I would come into work thinking, somebody's got me. Somebody's got my back. It wasn't uh, an excuse to be, to be lazy or, or to be more complacent, I think. Having a mentor actually made me more engaged, knowing that somebody would be reviewing my work and closely monitoring my, my, my progress and improvement. And so, guess how many years I lasted in this, in this job, which was one of my earliest jobs? I lasted six and a half years. In my last role in this company, I was a role above the mentor that, that I had when I first started. And I actually had the opportunity to mentor other people as I got more comfortable and as I developed uh, and advanced in, in, in the company. So a few years later, I went into a role, into a manager role, where the underlying managers didn't want to be mentored. And the person that I was reporting to was not clear and really did not show, um, or there was, there was just no opportunity for mentorship, I should just put it that way. And so, what happened? Um, a lot of misses, you know, misunderstanding. So things that um, were supposed to happen did not happen. Things that, ha that, that uh, happened were not supposed to happen. Miscommunication, a lot of uh, like back talk, a lot of uh, office politics, a lot of drama, if, if you will. And then um, misunderstanding, miscommunication, missed goals and, and missed uh, opportunities, is that what I would say. Um, it didn't help that the, the, the people that were reporting me were applying for, for that job that I had. So you know that, that position where there's a lot of um, mistrust, mistrust, and 
it just didn't work out. Um, I'm not saying that mentorship is, is needed for all occasions, but I think in this instance, a mentor would have been good if it were me mentoring um, my subordinates or if, if I had a mentor to help me get comfortable and learn the job and, and meet people and just do a better job in the department. So you see the contrast between the good mentor experience that I had and the not so ideal mentorship experience that I had. Um, Toastmasters actually makes a differentiation between coaching and mentorship. Coaching is more the short-term tactical type of helping your mentee or your, or your protege versus mentorship, which is more long-term long term based. I kind of see that as more strategy versus like a tactical short term short term thing. To end, I would encourage people to have that mentorship experience, whether in Toastmasters or outside of Toastmasters. And it's interesting because now you could be mentored, you could be a mentor or a mentee any part of the world. Toastmasters actually talks about doing mentorship online or through like our apps and I thought that was interesting. So, thank you.